Hello and welcome to the 17th session ng Physics 9. Um, this is divided again into the usual three parts. Uh, in this case, yung ask na component niya is about to end uh, with these uh, problem-solving uh, discussions and activities for problem number one and problem number two. Ayan. And then for the last uh, part of this session naman, we have gather information for activity number 70, the box, the ball, and the books and so uh, the reference for this video lesson was the unit 4 book number 20 pages 14 to 18 of the 7e based self-learning module in science 9 which i wrote for my master's degree let's begin okay so for the first part uh, we deal with a problem so the problem goes a 5 kilogram orange ball is moving towards another 5 kilogram green ball with a velocity of 2.5 meters per second so there are two balls over here an orange one and a green one um and then um we have to clarify that uh, the uh, orange ball is the one going towards the right and then the green ball na man is uh, also moving towards the orange ball but it is with the velocity of 2.5 meters per second towards the left so basically pareho lang yung mga velocities nila pareho lang yung uh, ganon yung amount nila but they have op opposite directions as shown in this visualizer. Now, these balls collided and after the collision, ang nangyari was the initial and final velocity ng mga balls nagpalit ng mga directions. Pero yung kanilang mga masses na natili lang naman na pareho. So, walang natapyas, walang nasira, walang naalis na parts sa uh, kanilang dalawa. Okay? Now, uh, if the orange and the green ball are now moving at in, uh, in opposite directions, ano yung magiging total momentum ng system before and after ng collision? Let's find out. Ang mga givens natin are as follows. So, yung ating uh, M1 was 5 kilograms, same sa M2. Uh, it's just that yung V1 is positive 2.5 kasi it's going towards the right, the positive x-axis. And then yung V2 naman, yung sa M2, um, is it negative because it's moving towards the negative x-axis. Now, maybe napansin mo, we're really fond of using the same values no, for uh, these things. Well, ano kasi, like we need to parang um, provide examples that are very simple so that uh, we can take it from there. Okay? Kumbaga, we can uh, elevate it. So, ang mga next siguro na mga pag-uusapan natin in class, iba na yung masses nila, iba rin yung mga, ve yung mga velocities nila. Okay? So, uh, pwedeng mangyari yun. Uh, now, after ng collision, pareho lang yung masses. So, there's no need to put M1 prime. Okay? So, pareho lang din, din naman yung masses nila. But, yung V1 nagbago. So, uh, from kanina na positive siya, naging negative na siya. And you know why, ba? Because it's now moving towards the negative x-axis. You know, V2, kanina na negative, is now positive because it's now moving towards the positive x-axis. Bakit siya nag-move ng ganun ngayon? Kasi nga, nagbanggaan po yung dalawang bola na yan. Okay? Now, before we continue, let me remind you na yung unknown natin dyan ay yung total initial momentum before the collision, okay? And then yung total final momentum after the collision. Very good. Now, uh, dalawang numbers yun. Tapos ang goal is para masabing na conserve yung momentum, kailangan magkapareho sila ng number. Okay, so for the solution, gagamitin natin yung lagi natin ginagamit na formula, which is, uh, yun nga, so M1, V1 plus M2, V2. Bakit plus? Kasi again, we're looking for the total. Okay, so total, inferring, inferring na lang natin doon, sum yung hinahanap natin siya. Okay? Uh, and then, doon naman sa isa, kaya siya may prime, uh, because of the fact that, uh, ayun nga, bale, uh, we're talking about the velocity right after the collision. Alright? Uh, nagigets pa naman, I hope. <laughs> Kaya may prime yan. Kasi we're already talking about the velocity of the balls after the collision. Okay. Now, uh, we substitute the givens and basically it's gonna look like this. Ayan. So, yung M1, M2... 
Again, kaya sila magkapareho kasi nga, uh, we're just simplifying the problems. Pero may mga times niya na mabibigyan kayo ng ibang value for M2. And in that, you have to prepare yourselves. Okay? Now, you perform the operations and you're gonna get 0 is equal to 0. Okay, so 0, 0 equals sila. So that means, na-conserve yung momentum. Okay? All right. So, I hope you noticed na pareho ito dun sa uh, scenario kanina nung dalawang coins na nagbanggaan, okay? Because problem number two is going to be quite similar to the ball falling on the floor, okay? Okay, so uh, it's also quite similar to how billiard balls are behaving on the table. Now, an orange metallic ball is moving with a constant velocity of 3 meters per second towards a green ball that's at rest, Inuulit ko, yung green ball, tinamaan siya ng orange ball when it was at rest. Now, yung dalawang bola na yun, ang, ang mga, ano nila, mga masses nila is 6 kilograms. So, pareho yung bigat, yung isa gumagalaw, yung isa naman, hindi. Alright, now, this is the visualizer. I hope that you get, it has an arrow. This one does not have an arrow, naka-indicate din dito. B2 is equal to 0. Now, they collided and it, they look like this. Now, what happened after the collision was the orange ball stopped. And then, yung green ball naman, nag-move siya with a speed of, or velocity of 3 meters per second. So, yes, it's similar to sample problem number 2 a while ago. Now, let's see. Ano kaya yung total initial, total final momentum ng system na to? So, the givens are as follows. So, for M1, we have 6 kilograms. And then for V1, it's 3 meters per second. Positive because it's going towards the right. And then M2, same lang ang masses nila in this example. But its uh, velocity is 0 because it is at rest. Again, we're talking about the initial momentum. And nung unang, ano, nung unang case pa lang naman, nakapahinga naman itong si... Uh, itong si M2, kaya talagang um, 0 meters per second yan, okay? Alright. Now, after nung collision, nag-stop yung, ano, yung V1. So, obviously, V1 prime will be equal to 0 meters per second. And then, V2 naman ang, ang nag-move. So, it's going to be 3 meters per second squared. Actually, uh, mali yung nailagay natin dyan, no? Ayan. So, uh, let's just uh, retrack our steps. Ayan. So, uh, that one, V2 prime, is actually 3 meters per second. Now, for the solution, we'll be using the following formula. And then, we'll be substituting the given. So, I'm telling you, we'll be, we're, we're not using 2.5, okay? We're gonna use 3 meters per second. You substitute them, and then you carry out the operations, and you're gonna get 18 kilograms meters per second on both sides equal sila so yun ang ibig sabihin nun na conserve yung momentum walang nawala walang nadagdag okay all right and that ends the second part of this session which is uh, yun nga ask problem solving now let's move forward to the next uh, part of this session Last part, which is gather information, activity 70, the box, the ball, and the books. And the objectives of this of this activity are as follows. So, dapat, by the end of this activity, you can explain how an object's momentum is conserved in a collision. And then, you should be capable of solving problems on different types of collision. Now, for the materials, you'll be needing the following. A piece of paper, a basketball ball, a pencil book, uh, I mean, several books and a cardboard box. Alright, so for the first step, you have to place an empty cardboard cardboard box on a smooth floor. So, the game mo lang siya dyan. And then, for the second step, you roll a basketball ball towards the empty cardboard box with different speeds. I saw padding fast, tapos, uh, you can go slow, I mean, and then quite moderate, and then fast, okay? And then you have to write your observations on what happened to the box 
just after the collision. So, nung slow lang yung pagkaka-push, yung yung speed nung ball um, towards the uh, the box. What happened to the box after the collision? And then nung medyo mabilis na ng very light pero not super, what happened to it? And then nung super bilis nung pagkaka push mo yung yung velocity no ano napakabilis niya um what happened you have to record all of your observations okay all right you'll be using as well this um table in recording your observations so when it was empty and the ball was slow what are your observations when the ball was moderately uh moderate speed what happened to the empty box after collision And then when the ball was fast, what happened to the empty box after the collision? Okay, if you need more time, you can pause this video. But uh, if you're ready for the next uh, part of this, uh, for the next step, let's now deal with step number four. You'll be placing in books inside the box and basically repeat the whole process. Rolling the ball slowly, moderately, and fast. And then you're gonna be recording your observations here in this table. All right. If you need more time, you can pause this video. But if you're through, let's now proceed with the next uh, step. Actually, it's the answer to the guide questions already. So, uh, going back to this, merong kandalawang tables so far. So hopefully that uh, you won't lose your data because you might need those data in answering the following guide questions. Okay, so for question number one, was there any difference in the collisions between the ball and the empty cardboard box when you changed the speed of the ball? Okay, so kung meron ka napansin, ano yung difference? And if wala naman, ano ba nangyari? What exactly happened? If you need more time, pause this video. Now, if you're through, let's proceed to question number two. What happened to the collision of the basketball ball and the cardboard box when you added the books? Nalagay na yung books. Ano nangyari dun sa collision nila? May nagbago ba? Or did it actually remain the same? Now, kung may nagbago, what do you think is the reason for that? Now, kung parang nagstay lang, ganun din naman yung collision nung um nung empty pa yung cardboard box what do you think are the factors that makes it remain the same did you actually think differently and were you surprised about it let us now proceed to question number three can you consider this type of collision as elastic now if you do so why If you don't, why not? Question number four. Was the momentum before the collision preserved after the collision? Like, you know, kung zero yung total momentum before, zero din ba no after? Or kung 18 siya before, you know, is it still 18 after? What do you think? Defend your answer. If you need more time, you can pause this video. But if you're ready, let's now proceed to answering question number one. Okay, so ano yung napansin natin dito? As the speed of the ball increases, the distance covered by the ball and the empty cardboard box also increased. So nag-collide sila, they got stuck with each other and then they covered a particular distance. Now, um, meron din mga napansin na deformation dun sa cardboard box since it was empty. It, there would be slight deformations for sure. Okay, question number two. Um, what happened to uh, the... Uh, what happened? What did you observe? Did something change? All right. The uh, answer to this question was, yun nga, the basketball ball was simply bouncing off The box when it hits because it's already heavier it was because uh, there were books already inside the box okay next uh, question can you consider that kind of collision to be elastic 
the answer is no. Because in elastic collision, kailangan, walang deformations, and usually they just, you know, bounce off each other in opposite direction without actually, you know, chipping away any part of each other. That would be elastic. But this one, this one, it's not like that. Question number four. Um, meron bang uh, co- conservation na nangyari before and after? Actually, yes. Even though merong mga deformations, actually, those are symbols or parang indicators of a transformation of momentum. So, instead of it being transferred the way it should, like to other fully solid objects, ang nangyari lang dito, naging converted siya. Nag-convert siya into a different form, into mechanical energy. Okay, and a deformation on the box. That is it. For uh, the last question in Gather Information Activity 70, the box, the ball, and the box. Alright. Now that we're done with this uh, session, I hope that you will stay tuned for uh, more um, examples, for more activities coming your way in Physics 9. Okay, this is the... uh, 17th session of physics 9 i'm hoping that i'll see you in the next video lesson